um, having cheese made from animal rennet. Um, the sister says, are we allowed to eat these kind of products? Sure. This is a question which uh, our earlier predecessors dealt with and the earlier scholars as well uh, have two different opinions. The opinion of uh, the vast majority of the Muslim jurists, mm -hmm. al-fuqaha, uh, Malik or Shafi'i, and one opinion with al-Imam Ahmad, they said that darini, which is in Arabic known as al-infaha, that is a substance or an enzyme, a yellowish one that's taken from a sac that is in the abdomen of the animal. Uh, they all agreed, first of all, that if it is taken from an animal, which is number one, lawful to, con to be consumed, uh, sheep, cattle, whatever, which is lawful to eat for Muslims, then it was slaughtered by a Muslim, or any of the people of the scripture, slaughtered according to Islam, which is known as tazkiyah. In this case, it is perfectly fine to use this to manufacture cheese. Basically, the rene, uh, whenever it's put and mixed with the milk, it transforms the milk into cheese, different types of cheese. So they said it will be allowed and permissible in this condition. There is a general consensus with this regard. Then they differ with regards if the animal is uh, either not lawful for us to consume or a dead animal, even though if the animal itself is lawful for us to consume, it has been slaughtered. If it was slaughtered by other than Muslims and the people of the scripture. So the vast majority of the scholars said it is najis, it is impure, and we cannot consume it. And if it is mixed up with the milk in order to make it cheese, then the milk too becomes impure and we cannot consume it. Al Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, and also Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah and others said no. It is not najis in itself, and it's not impure, and accordingly it is permissible. They both relied on uh, sources of indications from the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. Uh, what really makes uh, the second view weighs heavier and more right is that the companions and the tabi'een and the predecessors used to eat the cheese which is manufactured by Jews, Christians, and, and Majus, the fire worshippers, the Syrians. So they said since they used to eat it, that means, and they know that for the fire worshippers especially, that they are not uh, Ahlul Kitab. So we're not allowed to eat their dhabiha even if they slaughter it. It's only permissible to eat the animal which has been slaughtered by a Muslim or any of the people of the scripture, Jews or Christians. So they said, yet they still have used it, accordingly it is halal. Many of uh, the current fiqh committees said the rainy which is used from animals, which slaughtered by non-Muslims, as long as the animal itself was halal to consume for us as Muslims, is lawful and it's permissible. Recently, as I was discussing a few years back with the scientists and uh, people are uh, uh, in charge for nutrition and so on, they said nowadays they don't use it from the animal sources, rather the enzymes are being created and manufactured chemically at the lab. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about that.